This is a part two of the stair problem, 48 Bridal Street. And now what I'm gonna do is look at where I left off um, with the, the lessons drawn. So what, we'll, what we want to do is actually look a little bit more closely at the underlying drawings um, remember oh I, i'm not sharing my screen no, no. so i'm i'm going to share my revit screen and I'm going to open up the underlying uh, drawings as if I were uh, navigating through that directory because you can't easily do that. So at level one, I have this un underlay. It's a raster image of the first floor, right? If I change the point of um, my graphic display to wireframe, I can see through the floors. Um, so if we look at level one, we can see fairly quickly why we were having a problem negotiating between what originally I thought was a stair that was supposed to go from the basement to this intermediate mezzanine slab, but what this drawing is telling us Right, is that I'm looking, I'm looking at level one, and that stair is actually going up to the next level. Right. So remember, we re uh, set all the elevation bullets for the site to correspond with the elevations that we got from these drawings. So level one or first floor is at 37.6. That means it wants to go up to level two, wherever that is. So if I go to my any one of my elevations. Well, preferably, preferably not that one. Let's go to the one north-south, right? Level one, level M was 37.6. So that, the next level, which is the one I wanna to get to is 46.10. Right, so I'm looking at a section north south, so that's a long section. If I look east west, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using those elevation bullets. Remember, I, I in, inserted, inserted that in, intermediate layer. So I'm going to measure floor to floor height of from level M to level two, that is exactly what whoever made that drawing is, is telling us. Nine four is a perfect multiple of seven inches. Nine times 12 plus four, 112 inches. And then we divide that by seven, we get 16 rises. Is it here? that, uh, why are they saying 18 risers? Up, 18 risers, did I do something wrong? It's 18 risers at seven. So they're saying first floor is at 37.6. Let's go to level two. It's only two, well, only to rise yourself. Second. Okay. The second floor is drawn down 
18 risers. So that, that the only stair we're looking at is a stair, a fairly narrow one that looks like it might only be three feet in, in width that goes from the second level, which is a big flat floor. It's currently in wireframe mode. Let's select the So there's a floor on level two. And they're telling us that there are 18 risers at seven. 18 times seven. 126 divided by 12. So that's 10, six. So between first and second floor there's they're reporting 10 six so we're missing what are we missing we're missing 14 inches let's go to the elevation again and see where we might have gone wrong uh there's i will say that at some point there's a level of suspension of disbelief that you might want to adopt uh, that if the difference of two risers is gonna dramatically impact your interior design idea, if it isn't, maybe you wanna you want get around this. And I'm inclined to do something like that, but I, I would like to know where we went wrong. So, east elevation, Ah, here's where I went wrong. I was not measuring for mezzanine to level two. Let's try again, annotate. It might have been from level two to level three. No, it's still nine four. <sighs> so what that could mean is that, yeah, is that the mezzanine is lower than, uh, you know, the elevation at which we've drawn this slab. There's the slab of mezzanine. Um, and if, if we use the CAD underlay, as an example, here I am, I'm snapping to the AutoCAD underlay. The AutoCAD underlay is telling me that floor to floor height is nine four. So let's go to the next nine four and some change. Okay, we have less than accurate um vector uh graphic uh, uh line work do documentation so the cad file itself is errone erroneously reporting uh a distance of nine four or 16 risers from floor to floor right so you got to decide what you want to do with that um What this drawing is telling us is that we're looking at a plan drawing whose base elevation is sitting on at, at street level, right? So there's a corner of Story and Brattle Street, and we we. The, the door is drawn in plan. So we get in here and we have to climb up, right? So if we were to piece this together, level one, if you 
will is this base uh, street level is this base drawing. Then we have eight risers at seven, eight times seven, 56 inches above that is what we're calling the mezzanine level. And then this drawing is telling us that up 18 risers at seven from this level is 10 and a half feet. Okay, our model we model the slabs at about nine four between it each slab. So there's no getting around that. If I'm to draw beginning, I'm going to use this level M. Let's change this to wireframe. Okay, same underlays being used. So I'm drawing at level M, right? which remember from the, the, the elevation drawings, it is this level. Drawing at level M, a stair, architecture stair, from level M to level two, right? Revit is reporting that that desired height is 9.4, the perfect multiple of seven I mentioned before. Here's the calculation set. 16 risers. So if we begin exactly where this is telling us to begin, we want to drag in this direction until eight risers are drawn and then continue in this direction until the remaining eight risers are exhausted. Now that corresponds with roughly the drawing we have at hand, right? You can see that the landing is a little bit bigger. Let me use red detail line. Oh, I'm still in, in sketch edit mode for the stair. So let me finish edit the stair. And let's see the stair that we've drawn. I think I have a section that cuts through it. Let me pull it back a little bit so it cuts through the stair. And if I go to that view, ugh, these stupid railings, that's my my Let me select all visible and view. And remove the railing. So there's my, my section. That's my nine four stair from floor to floor. Okay. Uh, what we tr what I showed you to how to draw earlier was actually a stair that went from the basement to the mezzanine level and that that's uh, 13 feet i don't remember what we measured 12 6 13 14 6 whatever that is so that that's why we were running out of risers i'm going to stop there because it's pretty clear what happened all right i'm going to save this file as lesson seven